time for my weekly keto, low carb, and diabetic friendly grocery haul. Another small Walmart haul this week just went in to pick up the basics. I'm gonna start out with the ice cream because it is puddling up at the bottom and melting. Rebel, this is the five grams of net carb per pint cookie dough flavor. And then Chris also got the peanut butter cup. Now this entire pie on the bottom is gonna be nine grams of net carbs. Our Walmart doesn't carry a huge variety. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer. <laughs> Over there's Quincy Doodle hiding in the corner just waiting on me to get done. Cheese, cheese, more cheese. We pick up so much cheese. So, got the Great Value Fiesta Blend two pound bag. This one has Monterey Jack, cheddar. It's got all the cheeses blended together, but there's no seasonings on here. If you're having issues with like a weight loss stall and you need to eliminate a few things or maybe tweak, try just shredding your own cheese. But if you're in maintenance mode, you should be fine. There's not that many carbs added to that anti-caking agent. Now, we also picked up a block of Great Value Pepper Jack Cheese. This is the one pound block. Chris likes to slice this up and eat it as a snack. Picked up this extremely expensive bag of cheese. This is the 16 ounce Mexican style grated cheese. Kerrigan's coming home for a couple of days and packing up some stuff. Don't wanna talk about it cause I'm gonna start crying. So while she's home, we're gonna do Mexican one night and she makes something that's not keto, but Kerrigan, her fiance, and my son and Briley don't do keto. She's gonna be making a Mexican corn salad. So I picked up this specific cheese that she asked me to. She's not gonna use 16 ounces of cheese in that Mexican corn salad. So I need you to let me know in the comments what I'm gonna do with the rest of this cheese. What's it good on? I don't know about you guys, but we go through a ton of pork rinds. We use them for everything. It's sort of like, you know, cauliflower. You can do everything with pork rinds and cauliflower on a low carb keto diet. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I picked up four boxes of the Ratio Keto Friendly Strawberry Yogurt, two carbs per container, 15 protein, and 15 fat. It's about $4.66. If it was not for these keto ratio yogurts, I don't think I would have made it through this past year and I am obsessed with them. I probably have days where I eat three to four a day. It is a thick yogurt. I add the sugar-free whipped heavy cream to it, the Great Value brand, and I bought four of those as well. This is my combo. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing about it. You should know the drill by now. We all go through a lot of eggs. I went ahead and picked up another dozen. It used to be the Vital Farms, but since they're up to like five, six dollars a dozen, I'm picking up the Egg Lands Best Cage Free. They're about four dollars and fifty cents. Mystery flavor Mountain Dew Zero Sugar in the Voodoo. I actually like this and I know it's a limited time so I went ahead and picked up another 12 pack. I've not drank all of the other 12 pack I picked up last week but they'll only have this out for a limited time for a short period like they did the Baja Blast Zero Sugar. So I wanted to go ahead and stock up on it, have some to get me through the next several months because I probably drink maybe one of these every three days or so. Sweetener in this one is gonna be sucralose. There's your nutritional information. Everything is going to be zero except for sodium. Just in case you wanna pause it and check out the ingredients, you can do that right now. Like I said, small Walmart haul. Just basically went in for cheese, pork rinds, and yogurt. Dollar Tree haul, I just wanted to let you know in case you missed the Keto on a Budget video, which I will link up in the cards and down in the description box. You need to watch that if you're trying to save some money on your Keto items. Right now, they do have Bang Energy Drink. They have the Kaitu Super Coffees. They have sugar-free tomato sauces. They have so much. Please go watch that video. But I wanted to let you see what we picked up while we were there. I stocked up on the Super Coffees. The Sweet Cream, I actually got seven of those and the Super 
cold brew, just the bold and smooth black unsweetened. I got two of those. I've already got some in the refrigerator because I want to try them as soon as possible. There's your nutritional information on the sweet cream. One can, 80 calories, three and a half fat, three total carbs, one dietary fiber, meaning two net carbs. These are keto friendly, gluten free, they're dairy free, and this one is going to be sweetened with monk fruit. Now, the plain black over here is only 20 calories, zero zero fat, two protein, three total carbs, one dietary fiber, two net carbs, and your only ingredient in this is basically cold brew and that looks like some preservatives or something. So this gives you the chance to make your own iced coffee. You could put your own sweetener and flavorings in it. Pretty much great for the convenience factor and the fact that it's only $1.25 at Dollar Tree right now makes it way cheaper than Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. The other thing I picked up was the massive 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes with basil. I like to add these to soups and sauces. This one is organic and there is no sugar added into this. That's what your ingredients look like. Now, of course, the carb count is at four because tomatoes, believe it or not, are a fruit and contain a lot of sugar. So four total carbs, less than one fiber, meaning around three net carbs for one fourth cup. But I dilute this down because it's going to have beef broth and all of that other stuff in it. So we don't end up having that many carbs in soup when I do them in the fall. And let's face it, fall's almost here. Well, most people consider September fall. So soup season, crock pot season, it's here people. It's time. United Grocery Outlet Hall. I think we basically just went to check out the drink situation since I am still unable to find my Alani new energy drink. Looking for something to take its place. They still had a ton of these teas in stock. Three for a dollar. We picked up three of the peach oolong and three of the strawberry jasmine oolong. The nutritional information on these really throw me off because the math just ain't mathin'. So 30 calories for this entire bottle, zero fat, zero protein. It's gonna have 18 total carbs. Then it's gonna have eight dietary fiber and 14 erythritol. So we're in the negative here. That does not make sense to me. If you watched my grocery haul last week, you know that I picked up several of the varieties that they had. And since I've already tried the strawberry, I checked my blood sugar and there was no spike. So for me, I'm calling these safe. They had the Ba Super Teas, never seen these before. Truly brewed and infused. They also have antioxidants only five calories sweetened with stevia leaf extract and erythritol the entire bottle is going to have 11 total carbs with 10 erythritol meaning only one net carb i went ahead and tried one of these they're quite tasty only one dollar got two of the snapple zero sugar kiwi strawberry this is a new flavor it says they were a dollar each this entire bottle is going to be 10 calories zero fat zero carbs and zero sugar along with zero protein sweetener in here is going to be aspartame now i got a question do they make other Snapple flavors in zero sugar? Because if so, I am extremely interested in that. Liquid water enhancers. Chris likes to add these to his bottles of water. They had in the Sunkissed Tangerine Passion Fruit. These are going to be sweetened with stevia leaf extract. They also contain vitamin C. They were only 59 cents. So Chris went ahead and got four of those. Land O Lakes Ultimate Cheddar Cheese Dips. These are just the little itty bitty cups. Briley likes these to dip tortilla chips in. I've never tried it, but seriously, it's Land O Lakes, so I'm sure it's delicious. They were three for $1. Oh, and I wanted to show you the date. The date on these are November 6, 2022. All of this stuff is in date. Last thing I got was the Hormel sliced dried beef. 
It was $1. I have never picked this up before, but I recently had a recipe that called for it. It is the 2.5 ounce package. There's what it looks like. Date on this one is September 23rd. Six slices is a serving with 50 calories, 1.5 fat, zero carbs, and 10 protein. It even has a recipe on the back for chipped beef on toast and beefy tortilla bites. That's all we picked up though at United Grocery Outlet. went by a salvage store today. It's called McCoy's. It's in Kingsport, Tennessee. If they get discounted groceries, they're still in date. I'm going to show you, but this is what we picked up while we were there today. I got some mushrooms. They were only 99 cents. I love mushrooms. I'm just going to saute them up either in oil or butter, maybe a little seasonings, and that will be a side dish. Chris picked up some of the Rockstar Unplugged. Basically, this is just an energy drink sugar-free and it's blueberry. There are 12 cans and it's only $5.99. Check out this deal. Slam Fies Keto Fat Bombs. These are the chocolate caramel cookie. There are 12 fat bombs in each box, $3.99. Went in and picked up three boxes of those. Opened this one so you can see just how many are in there. And these are big fat bombs. Here's your nutritional information. One cup is going to be 80 calories, one protein, six fat, 11 total carbs with three dietary fiber, one allulose, four sugar alcohols, making it three next. Expiration date on these, December 31st, 2022. They will not last that long. That's all I got. It's pretty much a specialty store hit or miss. You never know what they're going to have. This time we just so happen to luck up with the fat bombs. Thanks for watching. Let me know. Did you find anything new at the grocery store this week? If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so because I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you check that description box. See if I've got any discount codes that can save you money on your favorite keto items that you order online. Also down in that description box, all of my other social media accounts and eBay and Poshmark store. If you just want to check those out. That's all I've got for you today. I'm going to go have me a snack and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.